All right, so in this video, what we're doing is we're going to look at what's called the effective tax rate. So I'm going to write that word, those words down. So we're looking at what's called the effective. That marker is not, it's a little bit too big right there. So let's go effective tax rate. And this is just based on the work in the previous two videos where what we had done was to calculate the taxes that are going to the federal government. And what the, the effective tax rate does is it tells you what percent, so it's the percent of your taxable income. That's what we're essentially looking at. We're saying, all right, well, you're paying some amount in taxes. Let's say this is what you're paying right here. If you're paying that amount in taxes, what percent does that number represent out of your taxable income? And that's the effective tax rate. Um, and if we go back a little bit here, let's just get a sense of why this is important. When you have an annual income, in the last video we had an annual income of $112,000 right here. We took a standard deduction off, which is the amount the government's not going to tax, and what remained was 100000 That taxable income was 100000 That put us in this bracket right here, right, with a marginal tax rate of 24000 But the marginal tax rates change based on the part of your income that you're looking at. So if you were to say, okay, well, my, my marginal tax rate is 24%, that's not so accurate, is it? Because it's only 24% of the money taxable income that's in this range right here. Okay, so what effective tax rate does is says, okay, well, your taxable income is a hundred thousand, all right. So you take, you say that's your um, hundred thousand dollars is your taxable income, and you end up paying eighteen thousand one hundred and thirty point five dollars. So what I've done is I've said, okay, well, this is the taxes I'm paying up here, and right here is my taxable income, and I divide these two. And since I want to write it as a percent, let me scroll down a little bit here. This is my taxable income. I want to write it as a percent. The quotient of these two, if I multiply it by 100, I'll get a working percent. So let's take a look at that. You might pull up a calculator for this one. Okay, um, here we've got 18,130.5 divided by 100,000 which has five zeros, one, two, three, four, five, or you can do 10 to the fifth, about 18%. And I said you could use a calculator because you can see how nice this percent fits in. 18,000 out of 100,000 is just like 18 out of 100, or 18%. Multiply it by 100, and you get about 18.13%. So your effective tax rate here would be about 18.13%. 3% if we round to the nearest hundredth. Now if we go back, it's interesting because even though you're paying 24%, right, you're in this bracket right here, when you average all the percents of all the mar these income margins here that you're looking at, that averages out to about 18%. It gives you a better sense of uh, what percent of your taxable income you're paying. It, it's a liter I guess it literally does that. It tells you that you're paying about 18% of all your taxable income is getting paid out. So that's pretty helpful in understanding what the federal government is actually taking from your tax, uh, from your income. All right, thank you.